this quasi hot leader out there in Finland, she is, she's truly a piece of work and I like covering this stuff. So you know what? Hey, anything, any opportunity I can get to really rehash the situation, and just drive home some of my operating principles. Why not? If you guys are going to watch it, I'll put it out there. Finnish Prime Minister Santa Marin takes a drug test after being filmed dancing. Funny thing about that. Can't remember what I said the first time around, but we're going to come back to some other things that I said because, oh, it's just so tough being right all the time. But no, she she took a drug test and it's going to take weeks for the results to come back. Like, what did they take? Like, gallons of your blood? Like, did you, did you have to do the old Keith Richards thing where you went and you had all of your blood taken out and ran through? through a dialysis machine and then put back in you is that what they're testing like I, I don't know couldn't you just like piss or something and then somebody just takes a look at it and it's like nope no metabolites detected all right good to go like what are you gonna get charged with or what do you have to hide or prove in order to take this test like it's just really one of those oh you make me take the test because you guys are all sexist or hey look I took the test and you guys were sexist for even questioning me it's like, it's a lose-lose situation. I think it's just one of those, si well, not really a psyop, that'd be just going a little, that's crossing a bridge too far. It's just easier to interpret it as, yeah, she just wants to show that there's nothing wrong with her hot girl life that she likes to live, even though she has a husband who's conspicuously absent in all of these videos that have been released. And, oh, don't worry, there's a new one. So yeah, uh, just a little bit of background on this. Under scrutiny after videos of her dancing with a pop star went viral. Oh yes, pop stars and other elite in the Finnish society. Sakus, Mikus, and Oives and Ovs, whatever the hell are out there, okay? She was out there dancing, boozing, just boozing, right? I'm sure. Anyways, gyrating to Bjork or whatever these fuckers listen to. Not entirely sure. Finland's Prime Minister said she's taking a drug test. Sanamar in 36 years old after she's been married. Well, she's been in a long-term committed relationship for 18 years that's the last time we looked back at it and now because she has a significant amount of clout and she's out there with the elites she's flexing on these hoes because why not why not she's still attractive okay like i'm not gonna take that away from her especially when it comes to being a world leader she is definitely hot for a uh, okay you can have the exact same comparison with like lauren bobert or aoc even hot for a insert title there okay like is she anybody who would stand out of a crowd eh, she's kind of got the build of a toothpick okay like, a, a decent face okay at the end of the day but she's got a such a self-entitled glance about her because that was the impromptu press conference where people were like oh, can you take the drug test and then she's like, no i won't and i've got nothing to hide and then all of a sudden comes out with that i don't know where these accents are coming from but they sound vaguely european in some form or fashion that's all right you'll never get canceled for yeah, mocking a white person. Anyway, Sonomar on 36 said in the press conference that she expects the results of the screening to be released next week. So this week coming up? I don't know, man. This is an article from yesterday, so something like that. And again, like I thought these, well, a breathalyzer would be redundant at this point because this was a video that was taken a little while ago. So I guess it would be a blood test, but maybe it's one of those things, right? Because there's that meme out there that the president of the United States can't shit in a pub public bathroom because anybody gets a hold of the excrement of the president then they can run tests and see it's, it's i don't know if that's actually true or not or if it's just one of those funny little anecdotes that somebody had put out there into the zeitgeist but i don't know maybe it's one of those situations where it's highly confidential information information sorry and only a certain lab can test it in helsinki the fuck if i know anyways finnish politicians have called for her to take uh tested for narcotics after the video was leaked however marin has said repeatedly that she has never taken drugs a 36 year old in a house party several house parties and a club party that she also went to i don't care about the rest of that shit right like as we've seen all of the fucking video before she's you know just humping towards the camera very presidential or prime ministerly i don't know the proper terminology for that but like i said there's another video out there okay it has nothing to do with cristiano ronaldo or any other fucking soccer shit but uh it's uh it's definitely something okay i'll, I'll give her that she's uh she's putting in work at this club we don't need any sound for this 
Really, all we need is just, yeah, uh, here, I'll just, ah, sound, again, yeah, no. That is somebody who is not her boyfriend, or not her husband, okay, because as you can see, he's got, he's got red hair like a good Finnish dude, and I don't know, is that Richard Hart in the background there, d doing some dancing, and they're getting, uh, uh, quite a bit fresh, okay, and, uh, we'll just run that back to the beginning here, because, yeah, um, She's definitely doing some hot girl shit by just, oh yeah, woo! She's one of the woo girls. You you absolutely knew that was going to be the case, okay? And yeah, wearing an Al Apple Watch? What the fuck? I thought you were Prime Minister. God, shouldn't you be fucking dressed a little bit better than that? But, mm-hmm. Ain't that great. Ain't that fucking great, okay? And again, she's not violating anything here, but if she's going to be the moral compass for a nation, uh, it's a big fucking question mark. To be fair though, maybe she got confused, or she just has a type that's out there. I don't know, maybe they have an open relationship, because he kind of seems a bit of a cuck. So yeah, uh, red hair, of course, the, the goofy little beard. But it's definitely somebody different, because they got a name here. Okay, uh, a pop star, 28 years old, filmed enjoying intimate dance with uh, Finland's married party prime minister, Sanamarin, 36, denies they're having an affair. But that's funny, right? Like, this must have been one fucking wild night damn it why the fuck do they keep with these auto volume shit okay like she's wearing the exact same getup okay at least the same lace top you can't quite see if she's wearing the same white pants or not but uh i don't know maybe she's got one outfit that's out there and then she spends the rest of her budget on just uh, i don't know really oddly cut blazers that could be her thing right uh leaked video shows sanamaran dancing intimately with a pop star in helsinki's kluby nightclub at 4 a 4 a.m holy shit those are definitely party girl hours i couldn't last that long for christ almighty i'm a man of a certain age a married leader said has nothing inappropriate happened with singer Olavi Ustriva. Yeah, sure, whatever. I don't give a fuck. But that's all right, man. Neither do the people of Finland, apparently. And then just a bunch of feminists who are like, Woo! She's living her best life! Women from around the world filmed themselves dancing in support of Finland's party prime minister. Can you fucking believe that? It's just pretty privilege, man, that's out there in the world. Okay. The only equivalent I can think of is Trump being dragged over the coals for having an affair with, what's her nuts there, the fucking porn star, you know, uh, the horse, uh, Stormy Daniels, there we go. Uh, they had a fling, not while he was in office at all, and that was constantly on loop, and oh my god, he's cheating on her, he's cheating on his wife, and it's like, yeah, we know, okay, cool, and again, they have an understanding. Stormy Daniels signed an NDA and didn't end up getting any more money out of Trump, in fact, <laughs> she ended up owing Trump because you broke the NDA, you fucking idiot, too many dicks to the fucking brain, I guess. You love to see a hoe get their comeuppance, but no, you got a married woman. A married leader of a first world country running around with just open degeneracy like this and instead of being called the task for her actions, nah, she's just the party prime minister. Exact same shit happens with Justin Trudeau, right? Oh my god, he's just so handsome. Have you seen the waves in his hair? Don't mind the totalitarian regime that he's enacting every fucking step of the way. If you're in Canada, hi, just to make sure that you're planning your escape because it's only going to get worse from here. Uh, but yeah, no, we got a bunch of... Uh, Women in worse economic situations than Sana Marin is propping her up for living her hot girl life because it's the sisterhood Uber Alice, right? Is she doing necessarily anything wrong? Eh, not really, okay? But does she also have very reprehensible views when it comes to being a political leader, like saying uh, Russian people shouldn't be allowed to enter Europe or any civilized country? Yeah, yeah, but it's par for the course, right? These fucking millennials make me sick. Anyways, uh, women from around the world have shared videos videos of themselves uh, dancing poorly on boxed wine on social media and a gesture of support for Finland's Prime Minister Sana Marin. What the fuck does she need support for, okay? The only thing that people are doing right now are just laughing at her for, I don't know, being a whore. One collection of clips showing different staff from Danish women's magazine. Oh my god, don't the Danes have like a feminist government or something fucking equally disappointing? Oh well. Has attracted thousands of likes on Twitter. Ugh. Was that a metric of success for mental illness? 
Oh, well, another hilarious video praises the dance moves of Ms. Marin. She's married, by the way. Anyways, 36. Well, comparing them with the dance floor antics of British Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Yeah, former, former Prime Minister Boris Johnson. He's on his way out, and I don't know, the fucking replacement's going to be 25 times worse. Anyways, Ms. Marin made headlines in recent day. Yeah, that's all nice and shit. And we got videos and a whole bunch of other shit. But yeah, no, you got these, uh, ugh, I don't know, broads from outside the big cities because they're they're in good shape which is nice because european women actually take good care of their bodies but their faces leave a lot to be desired okay oh see now they look totally better anyways one woman even showed her body bending skills while pole dancing where's that video oof but yeah, take a look at this, okay? Uh, a woman can be seen dancing on a boat. Well, if she's on a yacht, she got got, but... Uh, I don't think... Like, whose Nana's this? I, in front of several empty wine bottles. If you've hung around with enough drunk, middle-aged white woman Or white women, unfortunately. Not by choice. It's just, you know... Growing up, you can pick your friends, you can't pick your family, and... Yeah, no... <laughs> It's just how it goes sometimes. You've seen them pull out some really horrific fucking dance moves that would make Frankenstein's monster jealous. And yeah, it's just these old fucking pathetic women. It's like, oh cool, that's what you're supporting. Can you tell me one of her policies that are out there? Can you tell me how she acted in response to the coronavirus in complete and utter contrast to that to their neighbor and sometimes on and off rival Sweden? How it was completely different and it made zero fucking difference? Oh, okay, cool. You're just supporting her because she has the same plumbing as you do. It's adorable to see women try to take politics seriously because they're just fucking airheads. Oops, sorry, I had to say it. It's the sisterhood Uber Alice. It doesn't fucking much matter, right? You had Sana Marin out there partying, okay, and what's gonna happen? Oh, she's gonna take a drug test. Oh, magically it'll all come back clean. How adorable. It only took a week and a half to come out. Awesome. She'll do more degenerate shit, okay? Meanwhile... If she had a penis, it wasn't Justin Trudeau who's tied in with the World Economic Forum. We don't need to put it on our tin foil hats for this, okay? Look at all the fuck shit that he does. He can just smile and have it put on a nice calm tone and just bore everybody to sleep with some fucking feminist jargon. These are the darlings of Davos, ladies and gentlemen, and that's why they get away with murder. Where you have Boris Johnson, okay, throwing a party. It was during a pandemic, of course. Well, his pandemic of his own choosing, his party's choosing. Thing. I don't know, man. I don't know how much he believes it as much as he was just getting pushed along by his party, even though he's still responsible for ultimately what he was doing. He got kicked out of his position, okay? I'm just letting you know. I'm just putting it out there as just good life advice. If you're going to be deciding something as important as the leader of your country, do something that's a little bit antithetical to human nature, okay? You're just mostly persuaded by emotions as opposed to the actual arguments. Case in point, JFK, Richard Nixon's debate in 1960, okay, the first televised debate, and everybody thought, oh, JFK won, who watched the debate. Anybody who listened on radio, like it had trend, er, traditionally been broadcast, thought that Nixon won, because Nixon won on the points, because the only thing that could be disseminated by that debate was the audio, okay? Nixon had the points. JFK had the looks. Eh, you take Illinois' shenanigans out of the mix, who ended up winning that election? and then ended up uh, with a third eye mm, because of those shenanigans in Illinois a few years later. Stop voting on how you feel. Start voting on what the policies are. You want another re reinforcement? You want another dose of reality for a second? Take a look at all of the people who are fully anti-Trump. Anybody but Trump. Realistically, Sam Harris, if we're keeping it a buck. Anyways, with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.